Everybody's in the holiday spirit. Uh, we're just uh, in the area, touring around Union County. We're independent journalists. We're just taking tours of the public buildings and seeing what information is available to the public, that sort of thing. Is this what this is the school board building, right? This is the district office building. Okay, for the school board? For the, the whole school district. Okay. How many schools do you have in the district? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, it doesn't look very big. Cool. This is the public lobby. Right. Doesn't look that big. Not a lot of uh, public information. Nope, not really. Down here. Oh, is there? Oh. Hello. Doing well. Instruction and curriculum. How are you? Hello. How are you, sir? I'm good. Doing well. Doing well. Hey, who's that? Excuse me, are you looking in the bathroom? No, sir. Who are you? I didn't tell you my name. I'm just taking video of the building. Um, no, you need to get out of the building, please. I don't think they have permission to be here. No. Come on up. Hey. Is there any reason why? There is. Did you What's check in? Who have you talked to? I did go to the front desk. I did. I don't need permission. This is a public building, correct? This is the school district building? <laughs> no, we don't let people just walk through our schools until we've vetted them. Come on through. Until you've vetted them? Yeah, we... Do you do background checks? Yes, sir. You do? Activism, there's nothing. Activism, he's not All right, this is the director of safety and security. I'll let y'all deal with him. Hey, director of security. Uh-huh. My name's Eric Chores. Oh, nice. Stop touching him, sir. Stop touching him, sir. That's assault, sir. Get your hands off me. That's you assault. Don't touch me. Take your hands off of him. Get Jeff to come get these guys out of here. Don't touch me. Yeah, yeah. You can ask, but you can't touch somebody like that. Is this Are these not public notices right here, sir? Last time I checked, if a door's not closed and secured, then it's open to the public. So. And the lady at the front desk told us that we could come down, so maybe you should speak with her. There you go. How you doing, ma'am? Hey, I'm doing well. Ma'am? What you doing? Am I good to come here and talk to you? <laughs> We're just taking a little video and photographs of the building and reporting it, public information, disseminating it to the public. That's all. Who do you work for? Activism News Network. The Activism News Network wants to know about our building. Yes, ma'am. And what town do you, I mean, where do you work? What town are you out of? What town am I out of? I'm from all over the state. I don't have a specific I, town I'm out of. I, you said where? All over the state. I don't oh. have a specific office. Okay. Yes, gotcha. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So. You up to something? I'm up to it something? Is a story? It is going to be a story. Yes, ma'am. old dilapidated school district building? Maybe so. It looks pretty nice in here. It looks pretty nice in here. Do the school buildings look the same as the question? It, oh, here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can show you some stuff, but I ain't going to be the one to show you. Okay. Well, it's all right. We'll, I can tell you some stuff off record if you like to quote me. What? <laughs> I see. I would love to be interviewed. But if you like for me to blur your picture out, I will. I'll be nice. The lady downstairs that asked a million questions. That's Which one is that? Me. Oh, okay. Well, if you got a thousand questions, I got a thousand answers. I know. And then I'm going to give you a thousand questions. I hope you have a thousand answers. So, the question is, when will we see this stuff? My video will be posted more than likely tomorrow. Are you serious? Yes, and what's the How do we find it? It's going to be on YouTube. Just type in Union County School Districts in YouTube, and it'll pop up. And who do you work for again? Activism News Network. So if I go on and look for Activism News Network, I will see other districts? Yes. You'll you'll see things from all over the state, all over the country. You like a piece of tissue? No, thank you. I work hard on it. You might want to give it to your uh, director of security because he's out here crying right now. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you wrote it down because there's one on my head. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Oh, thought I was gone, huh? No, I didn't. I thought he was gone. I mean, I'm definitely not leaving. He's called the police. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's director of security. He went crying to men with guns. So. Yeah, because I definitely want to file a report for assault. I don't need your okay. I said I was going to do it, so I'm going to do it. Okay. I don't need your okay. No, he put his hands on you. I want to file a report. Citizen report, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, the state of South Carolina be a citizen of risk. But as you see, guys, this this gentleman here with the smirk on his face thinks that he can assault members of the public because they're in a public building. Tell him what that assault that you're accusing me of. They they saw it. You any touch that's unwanted is assault in the state of South Carolina. Okay. Didn't know that, Director of Security. I didn't know. That. Well, you're about to find out today. I appreciate that. Yeah. I'm not a police officer. Director of security means that we try to secure school buildings. This is a, my school building. Do you have the right to walk down the hallway? Yes, sir. Your school building? Yes. I don't believe you're the I county. Sure. You own this? If you go into a school building, do you own this building? What does your law say about that? Do you, do you own this building? I'm not trying to fight with you. I'm asking you a question. I'll answer your question. I if it is a public you. building, then I have the ability to walk freely throughout the, the building that's a open. Building? Yep. Yes. Any building you that's any public. Building public records yep. too. It's probably in your school board policy, but it's definitely in the South Carolina law. We're allowed to go to any yeah, agency. No, we're allowed to go to any agency. So like so anybody that you, you could walk into my school building right now. Yes. If you walk down a hallway, these you kids in my school building. Who yeah, owns the school? Because you said this building belongs to you too. Well, you're, I'm a taxpayer as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's yeah. your school. So you should say our, not mine. Listen to me, man. <laughs> I'll explain it real quick. Are you getting I, upset? I can't wander around the yes, school. Yes, you're a jerk. But I can't Cole? go onto school property and go to like the principal's office or wherever they jerk. would keep records and ask them for like the MSDS sheet, the material safety data sheet. Because yes. those are kept on property, you can't go anywhere else to request them. They're held on the actual property. Correct. So South Carolina law but you don't have free reign in the building. Is that what you're telling me? Right. I, I can't wander around like an idiot for an hour or something like that. But yeah, and as far as school property goes, I can go and get those records off there. So absolutely. And buildings such as these, and that gives you that right. But here, because there's no students, is why you're saying you can. Yeah, right. any, anywhere that's publicly accessible, right? So, like, if you guys don't want somebody, let's say you don't want somebody going downstairs, right? right. If you're a citizen and you walk in and you look, there, there's no signage. How do I know I'm not allowed to walk down there? Right. So you need, like, a, a, a row, employees only. That's why they have employee-only signs, restricted access signs. Those are what those signs are for. Okay. So, like, when I looked at that door downstairs, because there's a little lobby down there, right? You have a door. And I'm thinking, well, maybe this door is secured access, but it, it doesn't lock. There's no key card. There's no restricted access. Right. There's that, It's called due notice. You have to give a citizen due notice that he's going to be breaking the law before you go, hey, you're breaking the law. You realize why we are hesitant when we Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. Like yeah. And, we, and we don't mind questions. Like I said, you know, we don't, we don't mind any, you know, question. I we're think doing. we're good. They're explaining yeah. to me the thing. So... They were just kind of showed up downstairs. Oh, so we buzzed them in, and they just showed up. So when I asked, they said, we got a right to be here. What's your so name, man? How'd you come? I called Scott to come up here, but he's letting me know. Is that correct? Once we buzz them in, if I don't have a sign that says no public access down here, they can go throughout the building wherever they want to? Not wherever they want to, per se. Right, but it's got to be locked. It's got to be restricted. Anything that's open to the public. Yeah, but it's, it's not open to the public. Why well, it's not? Because it's a school. I, I don't see any students. This isn't a school. Can I get your name and badge number? That's neither here nor there. Oh, it's definitely here or there. Can I get your name and badge right. number? That's I, one I of... can show you downstairs if you like. Because they got a door down there. But All right, guys. This is lock. Union County's there's finest no refusing card. to identify uh, themselves. There's no restricted access. You know what due notice is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's no due notice that no one's allowed to enter the, the spot. So when there's no due notice, like I was telling him about this, like if I'm a citizen and I get buzzed in, let's say this lady's busy and I'm waiting here and I'm waiting here, I say, you know what, I think where I need to be is downstairs. And I look over here 
There's nothing here that says I can't go downstairs, is there? Right? So are you entrapping citizens that come downstairs to trespass them? No, you can't do that. There has to be due notice that I'm not allowed to be down there. Again, that's why they make restricted access signs. They don't make them just to sit in Walmart and not sell, right? They make them for restricted access areas. So that's all we were saying. But I don't have to do that for a school building. No, because a school building has children in it and there's 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 different rules that apply to school children and, and school buildings. Same thing with courthouses, right? A lot of courthouses, we, we were able to go in this one, but a lot of courthouses, they won't even let you in the courthouse. All courthouses won't let you in the courtrooms, but the courtrooms are open to the public. If I didn't have a camera, I could go and sit in court all day and listen to all the cases, right? right. It's open to the public. But if I have a camera, I'm not allowed in that courtroom. So there's different rules, you know, depending. But again, the general rule is anywhere the public's allowed to go, the press is allowed to go. That's Brandsburg v. A's, it's United States Supreme Court rule. So, um, and that kind of makes sense if you think about it. If citizens can go and collect information about the government where the press couldn't go, we wouldn't need the press, right? right? We just go to the building ourselves and get the information. So anywhere the, the public's allowed, the press is allowed. So again. A, a tip, if you don't want people walking in that door, just throw up a restricted access sign. That'll take care of it. Then when they do enter, then they are in trouble. I think the issue that we have is not so much you coming down there, it's not letting us know you're, like we can't just have people walk. Does that make sense? Well, yeah. All right, but and this, and this gentleman will tell you, because we're government accountability guys, right? Mm -hmm. So we're looking for corruption, right? Right. So he's not gonna call somebody that he thinks is involved in crime and neither are we, right? right? He hasn't called the drug dealer and say, hey, I'm gonna stop by and raid your house later, but get rid of all the drugs. I'm not gonna call you guys and Even say- Even if you had just hey. called when we got here, because I, I walked in. Right, right. And I could walk, but, the, but, but we want you to understand too that-, that there, You could have had a weapon on you or anything. Well, right, right, absolutely. Uh, but what we want people to understand is that the citizens are under very little obligations, right? Like, the only reason this gentleman could ever get my name and, and date of birth is if he suspects me of committing a crime, have committed, about to commit, or, or going to commit a crime, right? We don't have to talk to any other men. We don't have no other men that we have to answer questions to. My daddy's dead, right? So when you ask me questions, I can just completely ignore you. And when he asks me questions, unless he suspects me of a crime, I can completely ignore him, perfectly legal, right? I'm under no obligation to answer anybody's questions about anything I do. Right. Neither are you. Right? Right. So, yeah. That's all. That. I guess that sign you checked in with her when you walked in is, is how you were able well, to Well, we were talking with, we were talking with her and she said that there were offices downstairs. So. But you didn't ask to go down there and I didn't tell you to go down there. But you didn't tell me I couldn't. Yeah, you yeah, saw you us walking down there. You didn't say, hey, you guys are not allowed. to call somebody and say, hey, these uh, crazy men are walking down Crazy men. Sorry. Well, right, but... <laughs> but y'all didn't say anything. Y'all was going about school, and I told you I didn't know. Well, right, yeah, we come for general information. Well, well, I'll be the first to say I went down the stairs first, and I definitely didn't ask for your permission, and I didn't need to because, again, there was no due notice. It was open to the public. This is a school board building, which is owned by the school district, which means that it's county property and it's public. So if I go down the stairs and the and door's and open... A public lobby downstairs. Right. There's chairs and things for kids to play with. You can so you can go down, down the hallway public. and all of that. Yes, sir. As, as long as right. not in offices where we have student information. Right, okay. not in the offices. We're allowed to walk down the hallway. We're allowed to take pictures of the wall, stuff like that. If you have your door open, we're allowed to look in, mm -hmm. you know? Same thing if, like, you're at home. Right? right? You know how all the homes have big picture windows? Right. Okay, if I'm standing on the sidewalk, I could video record into your home, okay? Because there's no expectation of privacy because you have your windows open, right? But if you're in the bathroom, that's a totally different story. That's where the peeping Tom laws and stuff like that come in, right? Because you have an expectation of privacy in your bathroom. Same thing with your bedroom. If there's a two-story house next to my two-story house, and my bedroom window's open, and their bedroom window's open, and me and my wife are having fun on the bed, and this guy's taking pictures, then he's in trouble. But if he's up there, okay, in the second floor window, my wife's sunbathing nude in the backyard, he's not in trouble. Right. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, trust me, we, I'm from Florida. 
they didn't drive seven and a half hours to come break the law and we're unions yeah, out yeah. there like, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, and that, that's all we do. We just want to make sure that people are educated on citizens' rights and, and, and that we know, you know, that people are obeying their oaths. You know, like this gentleman's been great. He hasn't, he hasn't uh, come up and, who, who you guys? You guys got an ID? You know, you're not allowed to record, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I've heard it all. We've seen it all, you know? Right. Been tossed out of buildings, been arrested numerous times. So we've, we've seen and done it all. So, but we usually beat the charges because they're unlawful. All right. So, but yeah, that's all we have for today. You guys don't have a very big building. There's wow. not a lot of public information. Did you guys have to, oh, you this young man did. He wanted yeah. to talk to the sheriff. Yeah, he was deputy well, here or there. Mm. Yeah. If you could explain to this fine gentleman here about you can't just put hands on people. No, it's an unwanted touching. It may be considered unwanted touching, but when he doesn't know or somebody doesn't know what you're gonna do, what you have on you, what you're what you're mm. Mm. what you're gonna attempt to do. Just a fine assault. Yeah, because because basically what you're saying is if I'm walking down the street and this guy's walking towards me because I don't know who he is, what he's going to do or what he could do, I could just grab him, right? That's that, what you're saying. That's what it yeah. sounded like. Well, that's what happened. Right. So well, that's if, exactly what if, happened. If you're coming, if you're coming, so you're coming up those steps. I don't know you from nobody, and all of a sudden you come up and you're like this. I know you get ready. Are you getting ready to jump over that? What, what are you going to do? I don't know. He, he, he right, but that, so that, that goes in the well, pre-time. Now what, what, what are you saying? Man? What can't harm do that. I, I, are you going to do? I, you, so, right. I've learned if a you're lot. Coming, so I didn't know any of this. Just, right? My number one and, concern and, was and safety of my people. You're not saying nothing. I get that. You know, I know I've got ladies up and here. And you do what you got to do. Whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait. What are you doing? So just because I did this. Hey, man. Whoa. Right. And for an officer that... You have more authority to do that. What was your name again? I mean, anybody. Harry, Harry, Harry I'm Travis. Made, right? Nice to yeah. meet you. So, nice if you're here, your wife's over right. here. Who's your name? Somebody's coming up towards your wife. What you gonna do? Well, my name's Skip. I'll step in front, yeah, but I'm, you, I'm, you, I'm, I'm not gonna but grab he, him. But what if he keeps coming? But all he's gonna do is he's gonna get this snowflake. So, oh, I'm just getting a snowflake. Right. And I Dude, you come around my wife, man. I'm gonna pull it back up. I'll stand right here and buffer. You know what I mean? Because but if he keeps coming, it's human nature to put your arms up. Right, right. And if you okay. run into my arms, that's a different story. But if I reach out to grab you, that's an unwanted touching. That's an assault, right? Because let's be honest. If you see a guy walking out of a gun shop with a 12 gauge, are you going to shoot him because you don't know what he's going to do? No, no. You have to wait till somebody does something. But if he raises the barrel. Well, I'm just saying, you, you say, we always hear from you guys, well, I don't know who you are. Well, we don't know who you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't know if you're a rogue cop. I mean, this we is a public that. school building. So with it saying public, I don't think you have an expectation to know everyone who's going to come into the building. You have no way of knowing every yeah, citizen in the county. Well, the, who comes in the, the, the unfortunate part about it is, how you doing, sir? Hello. The unfortunate part about it, the way this world is, watch the news. Um, bad oh, yeah. things happen in schools. Absolutely. So, so absolutely. again, I am i don't have any problem with his level of concern. Mm -hmm. That doesn't bother me. That's, that's I exceptional. Know. I expect it. Mm -hmm. But what I don't expect is for someone that's moving on their own free volition down a hallway that's freely open for the public to move for him to reach out and touch someone and then that person tells him to stop touching them and he continues to touch them so at that point i believe that's an unwanted touch so whether you think he has a weapon or not if you're a security guard not law enforcement i would definitely advise you to call someone let the person go and get away rather than you staying there and continuing to touch the person and you shouldn't be Observe un un report. Un unwanted, unwanted touch. touching is a personal opinion Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, I mean, it would have to go to the courts to decide that anyway. So we're not going to do anything. Are you doing anything about it here today? Oh, no. He apologized. Yeah, okay. we're, so we're good. We we can, can, so we're just doing hypotheticals here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So of course, of course. It, it, and, and I love hypotheticals, but my tummy's coming. You can do that all day long. Yeah, I know. We can sit here till the moon cries. Well, right. <laughs> only thing I have is Deputy Nor here or there. Can I get your right. actual name now? Phelps. 
Phelps. And do you have a badge number, seal number, serial One, number? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. And this is the super man. I'm just saying that's another thing. Why gave you a lot of money? I'd be in trouble. Correct? Yeah. How, we, we asked the young lady, how many schools in the Come district? On. Come on. It, it, seven. It depends. Count our crews. Every officer is well, different. I, just say I, can, I can't vouch for others. Okay. But, yeah. Right. I can only tell you what I would do. Well, I'm out of here, gentlemen and ladies. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, y'all be careful about it. I guess Florida, but I don't know about y'all. Yeah, no, I'm Y'all be careful about that. Oh, I will. Yeah. I will. Have a very blessed day. Hey, thank you all. Yeah. It's not lit. I don't want to get in your way, buddy, if you mind. I'll just don't like that either. No, I'm not. I'm waiting. <laughs> I saw the sign on the way in. Y'all have a very merry day. Y'all have a great day. All right. Ugh.